Hey, uh, it's a busy day unboxing stuff. So I got a cool guitar pedal that I am pumped about. I got my knife, but I guess I'll need it. Uh, pedal was kind enough to. Yeah, so that was for that. And I don't understand why I needed that. That's weird. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut it now. All right, so. Nothing is in there. So this is kind of cool. So this is the Greg Howlick box. Really pumped about this. I had the Plexitone for a long, long time. And it wore, uh, sold it before it wore out, but it looked rougher, but it looked, it's performing for forever. And I was always talking about how awesome the boost is. Man, this is nice. Yeah. I really like uh, for I like when the knobs are firm and they don't just swivel like real loose. That makes me hope for the best. So this is the boost. I believe it's up to 25 or 20 dB, which is kind of ridiculous, but it sounds so good. You almost turn this down and turn it, leave it on all night, kind of thing. And then this is the high gain. This is for when your face is needed to be removed by melting. And then this is the crunch mid low gain. So I guess this can get pretty up there in gain. Um, so here, I'll just put it down. Can you see it better? Mm. Okay. So here's just the, the boost volume or whatever. I think it's it's a clean boost, so that must be just volume. Um, so these are the level gain tone, and these are passive, they're not active EQs. So that just means you're pulling, um, you're pulling out the high end, I believe. You're not actually loading low end. As far as I know, uh, don't quote me, and, uh, well, you can quote me and kill me, I guess, whatever you want to do. But I'm really pumped, because I really love the Plexitone, it just was always way, 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 way too bright. I would have, like, on the regular crunch channel, I would have the tone almost all the way down. Because it was too bitey. It sounded so good when I had it dialed in right. Really, really liked it. Anyway, so this is the paddle. Uh, it's got the regular 9 volt. And it's got some uh, magical happening because still 12 volts. But it's got something, a step-down transformer. I don't know. More than meets the eye, I guess. And then, um, now it's 9 volts, so you can use your regular power supplies. You don't need to use a wall uh, thing. Because the other one had a cord that came out like a regular DC plug. Input output. Now this thing feels like it's ready to roll. Pretty pump. And it came with... Our operating manual, just in case you do not know how to plug it in. As it were. Okay. Uh, boost. Oh, it's 12 dB. Well, I don't know. I know it's enough. Uh, so yeah, that is it. I'm really pumped, and I love a good box because. I uh, love when I put these on the shelf when I'm not going to use them. They keep well, or I can put the crap in them. So I'm all, I'm pumped. This is and I got it for a steal. This was used. I got it under two hundred dollars. And they it's almost, used and it's that nice. Yeah, the guy said it was mint. And he got it from some guy in Oregon. That's um, cool. If I am. Smart enough when I edit this, I'll put the guy's uh, store name in the description. But this is like brand new. Holy smokes. Some guy, I guess, it's either an open box or I guess the guy who wanted it took it home and brought it back right away. Like, these are my smudges. I mean, there was, no, there was not a smudge on here. That is wild. So, we'll see how she, how she fares. 
but I'm really pumped to, to get going on that. The Greg Howell Lick Box. <laughs> Thank you.